Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Try to discuss further into uh, integrals and now deal with trigonomic in integrals and uh, look at an example one of the example series and which is solving this example which states find the integral of cosine to the power of 3 of x dx. Now the integral of this is not straightforward but it looks like we could possibly use substitution rule. So for example if we were to let u equals in this case cosine of x now when we get the differential du this equals to well negative sine of x dx and there's nowhere to really plug this inside so this is not helpful. And the reason is that, well we don't have an extra sine uh, a sine factor in this uh, equation right here or this in, in this integral but one way of bringing in another uh, sine uh, factor inside is by considering the trig identity the um, the famous one right here sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x this equals to uh, one yeah so basically we have this one right here and we could write down cos squared of x equals to 1 minus sine squared of x. So it would, in this case, since we're only dealing with cosine cubed, we could uh, write this as cosine squared times cos x, just so we can include this sine factor in there. So when we take the uh, derivative of this cos of x, we have a sine of x to put it in, or vice versa. So for example, this formula now becomes this cos cubed of x dx. We could write this as integral of cos squared of x times by cos of uh, x dx is the exact same thing, and just splitting these up. Now we could plug this inside. So we get integral 1 minus sine squared x. Uh, now we have a cos of x dx. So now that we have this one, and if we were to use substitution rule, notice that in this case, let's let u equals to sine of x. The reason for this is when we take the differential or the derivative, du is going to equal to cos x dx, which is this entire right side. So we could actually plug this in. So now we have cos uh, cubed of x dx can equal to now... Uh, 1 minus, now we plug in the u, u squared, which is uh, u is a sine of x, and now we have this cos x dx, that just equals to du. So now we can solve this integral pretty easily. This integral of 1 is just u, integral of u squared, uh, this is just u cubed divided by 3, now we always have to add a constant c. And now we can plug back our u inside, so we have a sine x, minus a sine cubed of x divided by 3 plus c. Now there is our answer to it. And all we did was basically split this up so that we have an extra sine factor using this identity right here. And now since we're left with only just a cos of x by itself, we could let use substitution rule and write this as sine because the derivative will get this cosine so we can get rid of it inside our uh, substitution there. And now basically this method that I use it's important to uh, memorize this and to keep note of it basically for example such as these in general it is best to write integrals which involves powers of sine and cosine in a form where we only have one sine factor and the remainder of the integrals are cosine, or in our case, only one cosine factor, and the remainder of the integrals uh, in terms of sine, which is exactly our case. We had one, uh, basically just one f cosine factor, and the remaining ones here are all in terms of sine uh, there. And also the identity uh, sine squared x plus cos squared x, equals 1 enables us to convert back and forth between even powers of sine and cosine. Yeah, so it's important to use this one whenever we have an even uh, an even power such as cos squared x. Anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this video. And like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.